So what are we to make of Cinderella, then? It's probably the world's most popular love story. But what is it actually telling us about love? Well, I think one of the things about Cinderella, that one thing Cinderella dramatises, is how abject one is. How abject one is until one falls in love. And how difficult it is to get to the ball. Now, of course, it's constructed as the obstacles are presented by other people. But now we would say that actually these are all pictures of the way Cinderella obstructs and creates obstacles to get into the ball herself. So that, for example, the sisters that are disparaging Cinderella are the parts of herself that are continuously telling her that she is unworthy. And then there'd be another part of herself that might say, oh, you're far too good for him. And all these are discouragers because of the danger of falling in love. The problem isn't that you won't find someone, the problem is that you will find someone. Both of them risk loss of love. That's the risk of loving somebody, is the risk of loss of love. Not simply, they will no longer love me, but I will no longer love them. And one, the love inside one is not controllable. You can't turn it on or off. You don't know where it comes from. And I think Cinderella is a wonderful picture of this problem. <laughs> 